Today we're looking at Psalm 1 through 36, 1 and 23 through 26. It says this, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. He remembered us in our weakness. His faithful love endures forever. He saved us from our enemies. His faithful love endures forever. He gives food to every living thing. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His faithful love endures forever. Now, I am sure that none of us have ever felt weak or run down, and I'm sure none of us ever feel like we're alone or in need of strength and nourishment. I mean, why would we? Life is just always so perfect and so easy, right? Of course not. I mean, we all need to be loved. We all need to be strengthened and comforted. This section of scripture should encourage all of us. Over and over again, the writer says, God's faithful love endures forever. There is so much hope in these few words. If we look at this section and we break it down just a little bit, we see how amazing God is. The first thing that we see is faithful. You know, God is never going to give up on you. He is never going to leave you. He will never, you will never find yourself alone no matter where you are or what you're going through because his love is faithful. The next thing that we read is not only is his love faithful, but it endures forever. You know, there are times in life when we get tired and we feel like we just can't go any further with whatever it is that we may be dealing with. We've all experienced this. In fact, some of us may be there right now. This section of scripture, it reminds us that God doesn't get tired. His love endures. His love, love doesn't just go away. Like God doesn't all of a sudden say, I loved you yesterday, but today, mm, I don't know. I'm not so sure. No, he loves you faithfully and it endures through all things. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done or what's been done to you, God loves you and the real you and his love endures forever. We are all in different places in our lives. You may be in a valley that is difficult and you feel like you you just can't get out no matter how much you try. Or you may be on a mountaintop in a season that is beautiful and it seems to be perfect. Life's just perfect. But no matter where you are, God's faithful love endures forever. Now, having this knowledge about God's love, it should make an impact on how we love others. Jesus said, come and follow me. He wants us to learn from him and to model his ways to others. If God can love us in our weaknesses and whatever circumstance that we find ourselves in, our goal should be to draw strength from his love and let that overflow into our relationships with others. When we let God work his love into us, we can then work it out for others to experience. I pray that today you are able to identify opportunities to love others by drawing from the faithful and enduring love that we receive from God in our lives. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for your love, for your faithful love, for your enduring love, God. We, we just look to you, God, and we say, please just continue to give us the strength to draw from your love and to work that out into the lives of others, God. Help us to be a light for you and to help others to experience that same faithful and enduring love that you have given us through our example of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.